In this session, I'm going to show you a few different ways to create appointments and recurring appointments. When creating appointments or recurring appointments, they all begin the same way. So one of the first ways you can do it is through any of the apps available. So for instance, we're in email. We'll go to the Home tab, New Group, click on the down arrow for New Items, and we'll choose Appointment. This is going to open up the Appointment dialog box where we would create our appointment and save it. Another option available is using the shortcut keys. Control, Shift, A. It will also open up the appointment dialog box. And the third way I'm going to show you is through the calendar. So we'll click on the calendar app. We'll make sure we're on the home tab, new group, and click new appointment. It also takes you into the new appointment dialog box where we will now create our appointment. So for this example, let's go ahead and create a dental appointment. So in the subject area, we'll put in dentist. Location, we can put in their address. And then we choose the start date and time for the appointment. Be tomorrow, and let's say it's at 2 o'clock. So we'll scroll up to 2 o'clock. And the end time, we'll say 3.30. Now you also have the option to set an all-day event. So if you're going to be out of the office or in a meeting all day, click all day and it'll automatically block out that time for you. We'll come down to the body and we'll put any information we need in here. So we'll just set a reminder to take our dental card with us. Now we're going to come up to the options group and we're going to change our reminder time. Because I need to leave the office for this appointment, I want to set it a half hour in advance so I have enough time to get to the appointment. I'm also going to change it from busy to out of the office. And because this is a dental appointment, I'm going to mark it private. Nobody needs to see it. All they need to know is I'll be out of the office during this time. Once I've got everything set, I'll go ahead and click Save and Close and save it to my calendar. So now if we come over to tomorrow, there's my dental appointment. I can go into it, make any changes I need to it. So let's go ahead and change the time to 2.30. And you'll notice once I did that, it changed the end time to match what I had had set before. So because it was an hour and a half appointment, when I set it now to 2.30, it changes it to 4 o'clock. So we'll go ahead and click Save. And now it moved my appointment. Let's go ahead and create a recurring appointment. And for this example, we'll set a recurring appointment for every Friday at 2 o'clock where I need to finish my project report. So we'll come into the first Friday. I'll go to 2 o'clock, set my subject. I don't need to put in a location, but I'll just put my office. Now I'm not going to set the start time and end time here because it's a recurring appointment. I'm going to come over to the options and click Recurrence. It's going to open up the Appointment Recurrence dialog box, and here's where I would set all the information. I'll go ahead and set it for an hour. It's going to be weekly every Friday. And then I'm going to come down here where it says range of recurrence. And this is how long I tell it I want it to continue having this appointment. I'm starting it with this Friday. Do I want to have no end date so it'll go on forever? Do I want to tell it how many times it wants to occur? Or do I want to set an end date? I'm going to go ahead and tell it after five occurrences I want it to stop. And I'll say OK. I'll click Save and Close. I will come to Friday. There's my appointment. If we go to the end of it, you can see it's got the circle with the arrows, which means it's a recurring appointment. If I come into it, as soon as I double click on it, it says open recurring item and it asks me, just this one or the series? So depending on what I'm going into it for will determine which one I want to choose. If I'm just going in to make a note for this appointment, I would click just this one and say OK. If I'm coming in to change the entire series, I want to click the series and say OK. So if I want to change the time for the series, this is what I'm going to choose. I'm going to say OK. Come into Recurrence. We're going to start it at 1 o'clock instead. And then I'll say OK. Save and Close. And now it's moved it. So that's how you set up an appointment and a recurring appointment. Now if you have an appointment and you decide that it needs to become a recurring appointment, it's really easy to change it. So let's go to the first one we set up, our dental appointment. Let's say we have to go to the dentist a couple times. So we'll set up a recurring appointment. We'll click Recurrence. 
we can set the time for it. We'll leave it as it is. And we'll say it's weekly. We're going to come in on Tuesdays instead. And we're only going to do it twice. So we'll say OK. And we're going to leave the start date as this. So that means the following Tuesday is the first time it'll occur. So we'll say OK for it. Close and save. So if we come here, there's our dental appointment. And if we come to the 2nd of August, there's our second one. Now if we go to the 9th of August, there isn't one there because we told it only to recur twice. Additionally, if we go back to our second one, if we need to cancel the appointment, do a right click, delete, and it'll ask you this occurrence or this series. Now if we're only deleting or we're only canceling this appointment, we'll click delete occurrence and it's gone. If we come back here, we still have it. And so that's how you work with recurring appointments. Remember, you can set them up from any app. Just make sure you're on the Home tab. Click New Appointment if you're in the Calendar app. Otherwise, click New Items and go to Appointment or Control-Shift-A.